Food security implies the need to have a territorially and environmentally balanced agriculture. And this is exactly where sustainability comes into place. In the current challenges that agriculture faces, cost of production have gone up. The demand to produce more with less land available is there. The need to improve productivity is there. And sustainability is this type of filter and factor that uh, makes us think that what we do in the short term and what we do in the longer term should go together. For me, the number one thing is water. You know, water scarcity and, and, and the use of water in the right way is, is part of what we're doing, but also soil health. But then, you know, where do you stop? Because, you know, you've got the social part of it too. So, you know, relationships with growers and, uh, and farming communities. So, um, you know, the list will go on and on. If we start thinking long term, then it's about how to ensure that we have the capacity to farm on the long run. And we need healthy soil, we need uh, clean water, we need enough water, we need uh, biodiversity also, we need pollinators, etc. And this is to me where actually sustainable agriculture and food security interlink. We have to focus on, on the economic situation of the farms, the e ecological uh, situation of rural areas, but also about the sustainable demographic situation of the agriculture sector. And the age pyramid at this moment is upside down, and this is not sustainable. By uh, 2050, will be 9 billion people on this earth. But we should also make sure that we look at, you know, at it in a holistic way. Because you have a problem with food waste, you also have the problem with other policies, such as biofuels policy, which are actually pushing for using existing land where we don't have enough for food. So we need to really think in a more holistic way and not having like policies that are contradicting each other. Throughout the food chain, people have to deal with increased uh, cost of production. They have to deal with the need to feed a growing population. They also have to deal with the need to take care of the environment and make sure that what they have available as natural resources today will be there tomorrow and uh, hopefully in a better state. The traders, the manufacturers, retail, if they truly consider that the primary sector also has to have a sustainable economic situation, they have to take this responsibility as well. They manufacture and they market the products we provide for them. Working and collaborating with academic institutions, uh, a lot of farmers, so we're not on our own, we're not dictating, we're working to find solutions and uh, working with all sorts of programs. As a global company, we're learning from what other people are doing around the globe. So we're sharing a lot of best practices and it's very much at the heart of, of good agricultural practice for PepsiCo. The first challenge we have to deal with is the renewal of generations in the sector. If we run out of enough farmers, we cannot think about all the other objectives we have. I think right now is a real cost squeeze that agricultural and the food chain faces because of the developments in the energy area. This has brought new macro linkages of agriculture that we need to take into account before we make any decisions. Looking forward for producing food and feeding everybody, it has to be done in a sustainable way and uh, sustainable agriculture has to be the way forward. <laughs>